What's going on people, it's Casey from www.kc-sounds.com Today's video is a mixing vocals video It's an artist named Prof whose EP I've worked on uh, I've got three songs in his EP and I've mixed and mastered the three songs So I'm just going to show you the process of how I mix one of the songs called More To This Life I've used quite a few plugins in this one which I'm trying to get away from them but it helped me to get the sound that I wanted um, So yeah, if you want to take notes take notes if you want to give me any any tips or advice or let me know what you think then I'd, I appreciate I appreciate all feedback I'm always learning so yeah like I said drop a comment tell me what you might have done different or let me know how you what you think of the song so this is what it sounds like with all the plugins Tell you about the grind and the struggle, man, it's real I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the valley And tell them to give up all the bills, man, I'm from here Yeah, I'm from here If you're Godzilla, then I'm King Kong here I spit what I see on an everyday basis So my brothers know that these ain't just songs here Top. So yeah, that's how his vocal sounds And this is what the vocal was like when he sent it to me Tell you about the grind and the struggle, man, it's real I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the belly And tell them to give up all the bills, man, I'm from here yeah. Straight away, my thought process is it sounds boomy and a little bit boxy And it's not sitting right in the mix So I need to do some things to make it less boxy and able to just sit in the mix So first of all, if you've been watching my videos from before You, you know that I use Vumped all the time Vamped will just bring down the volume, I've chose uh, minus 10 dB uh, Then I've got the Pro-Q for corrective EQ, Pro-Q 2 This is just for taking out certain parts that I wasn't feeling uh, I haven't gone too heavy on it, just pulling out a few frequencies that is causing that boxiness Tell you about the grind and the struggle, man, it's real I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the belly And tell them to give up all the bills, man, I'm from So yeah, took, took that out with Corrective EQ Then I moved on to the DSR just the light work on the, on the DSR. Tell you about the grind and the struggle, man, it's real. I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills. I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the belly and tell them to give up all the bills, man, I'm from here. Yeah, and it's hardly done anything. I think it was just one or two words in that little freight and that little part there. So I just want to say as well, the recordings was they were clean, they sound good, so it, I don't have to do that much. And it's nice when you get vocals that are, have been recorded really well. So yeah, big ups to prop, big ups to Prof for sending in clean vocals. But it's not to knock anyone whose vocals ain't that clean. Um, there are ways around it to make you sound just as good. But if you can, send your mix engineer or myself clean recordings or as clean as possible. It makes our job a lot easier. Uh, then jump, moving on, I like to use the Vox Forma. Uh, this is just to add some presence presence on the vocals and it's I use this knob here which is drive and uh, this is what it does. Tell you about the grind and the struggle man it's real I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the belly and tell them to give up all So I feel like the presence uh, it adds a bit of presence you know it gives it a bit more of the top end without adding EQ and then I moved on to the CLA 76 which is probably doing hardly anything just a few dbs, 2 dbs of re re game reduction Tell you about the grind and the struggle, man it's real I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the belly And tell them to give up all the bills, man I'm from here Yeah I'm from here, yeah. if you're Godzilla then I'm King Kong here <laughs> I spit what I see on an everyday basis so my brothers know that So it's still, it's getting there but it's, it still needs some work and it's still a bit quiet. So what I've got last in the chain here is more plugins. First of all, we got the Dynamics multi-brand compression, and that is just to tame certain parts of his vocals without having to use EQ. <laughs> EQ, without having to use EQ, because once you use the E, once you use EQ and take certain parts out, that's it gone. So if you're, by using the multi-brand compression, you can target certain frequencies take and take out that frequency when it goes over a certain threshold so for in this instance what I've done is uh, just to tame 
low mids and the low end of his vocals. I haven't really done much on his on the high end, uh, the high mids, sorry, and then on the high end of his vocals, just a light compression, as you can see here. Low end's taking about that bit of 3 dB, I think. Could be too much. I like how it sounds. And in the low mids. Taming that low mid. So yeah, moving on to the EQ. EQ took out some of the body of his vocals. And that's what, 1.1 dB. And I boosted 1.3 at 2.4 kilohertz. And this is the mid side mode. So on the sides I've got 2.5 being pulled out and then boosted some of the top end from 10k so this is just to give it a bit of a sizzle bit of air on the sides of his vocals or shall we see what that sounds like sounding nice nice already so yeah the limit on that what this is doing is just any peaks that are out of control that can't be tamed by the the, the compressor from before that it's just gonna make the vocals sit nicely in its place just yeah so that's what this is there you can see on here uh, is a point where it just knocks down the peak so hardly doing anything let's turn it off see what that's like yeah and a little bit of volume so we've got the exciter next and i've got that on retro i don't think i bothered learning hitting that learn button that's in stereo mode and it's boosting just the high end from 10k upwards so uh, i'll exaggerate so you can hear what it's doing I like that because it, it excites the vocals and makes it a bit more top endy and gives it that bit of sizzle, a bit of fizz. I like that. So moving on. Once I've done that, I like to bounce that whole file down and and drop it, uh, du duplicate that and make that my parallel compression but I won't go into that yet I'm just going to quickly talk about these plugins but yeah that would be my parallel box so first plugin on the send is center and this time I'm using the ultra channel and that is the micro pitch shift so that make it makes the vocals instead of it just being dead center it just widens it a, a touch so that's what that's doing I'll exaggerate so you can hear what it's doing. So what I like to do with it is boost it so you can hear it and then bring it back to where you can't, you can just about hear it and then when you take, when you take it out, you, you miss it. I think that sounds good. So moving on to the delay, I've got uh, Manny Delay, which I've been just using a lot just lately. I like it. It's nice. I've got an ambient delay for this one. I think it's probably just a preset. And what I've done is put a compressor after it with the uh, the main vocal is the side chain. So every time he's spitting, his delays have been pushed down. But when he stops, they they uh, they ex they expand. <laughs> Not joke. They just they come out. You can hear them better. 
and it's only subtle I didn't want it to be at like over the top of his main vocals without the uh, compressor here's what it sounds like so it's kind of there all the time and I don't really like that I didn't like it for this song anyway I think it's better when it's just like bouncing with, with his vocals so that's my uh, thought process on that this plug this send here is called a p-mix and what this does is it's like a parallel compression for the whole song uh, if you can see here I've used it on all drums the instruments and I put some of that back into the song I'll probably do a video on that as well I've got that tip from uh, is it recording revolution Graham shout out to Graham on that one yeah that so that's doing that uh, like I said the, the next what I like to do is bounce down that vocal and duplicate it once that's bounced I, I don't I don't have all the plugins all the plugins have gone so that file is just bounced with all that processing and I use that as a parallel compression to tuck in underneath the main vocal so this is what it sounds like on its own the parallel compression Tell you about the grind and the struggle, man, it's real. I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills. I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the belly and tell them to give up all the bills. Man, I'm from here. Yeah, I'm from here. If you're Godzilla, then I'm King Kong here. I spit what I see on an everyday basis so my brothers know that these ain't just songs here. That's getting heavily, that's getting some heavy compression. You can see in both their needles. The grind and the struggle, man, it's real. I'm from a place where they shot O's and And what I do that is just tuck that back in underneath the vocal the main vocals. I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills. I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the valley and tell them to give up all the bills. Man, I'm from here. Yeah, I'm from here. If you're Godzilla, then I'm King Kong here. I spit what I see on an everyday basis so my brothers know that these ain't just songs here Top 10, top 5, who gives a damn? Cause I'm still underground, but I'm still nice Nice, so what that does, it just gives it a bit more body, I say If you've got a different description for it, then let me know But I think it just gives it a bit more, um, it's like it's louder, but it's not But it, yeah, but it is Anyway, let's move on so that's all going to my main, my mix, my mix bus, which I like to call my main Vox, which is down here. And on that, I've got the Satsun. Satsun's doing nothing. That's just because it's an old session and it's just something that I was using at the time. So you can see there, look, doing nothing. And the next thing I've got on there is probably, is, is actually dynamic, uh, not dynamic. It's Oxford Dynamics, which is, is compression. And this is doing about 6 dB of compression just to tighten things up a bit. Tell you about the grind and the struggle, man, it's real. I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills. I'm from a place where they... And it's making things a lot louder, which I don't think I need to make that loud. So I'm going to pull it back a little bit. Probably about 4 dB. Tell you about the grind and the struggle, man, it's real. I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills. I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the valley and tell them to give up all the bills. Man, I'm from here. Yeah, I'm from here. If you're Godzilla, then I'm King Kong. Here. Yeah, I like how that sounds. It does add quite a bit of volume. Normally, you're supposed to level match, but I don't think an average listener is going to think to, oh, he has a level match when he's used a compression on that one. Unless you're like to music that way but yeah I think it sounds good so I'm gonna roll with that so the next ch next plugin in the chain in that box bus is Pro MB multiband compression and it's taking out some of that boxiness I don't know if you could hear the boxiness while that's playing but here it is Tell you about the grind and the struggle, man, it's real I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the floor Bills, man, I'm from here. Yeah, I'm from here. If you're Godzilla, then I'm King Kong here. Hardly doing anything just to tame some of that boom at 200. And then at 10 hertz, uh, it's, it's kind of acting like a DSR just uh, to con control some of them, the top end. And then after that, I've used. 
I've used the EQ but I haven't done anything with it so it's probably just for the sound of the EQ. But the grind and the struggle, man, it's real I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store With the valley and tell them to give up all the bills Man, I'm from here, yeah, I'm from here If you're Godzilla Nice, I like that So what I, what I like to do now, after I've got my main vocals sorted That's going to the main Vox bus That main Vox bus will then go to a normal Vox bus Which means that all the vocals that I've used is, is being summed to that bus so it's like kind of like the, the last plugins of the chain so what we've got here is the transmod Oxford transmod um, yeah so let me just say the plugins that I've used on here can be used you can use any plugins just the same sort of things it's all it is is your your process and how you're gonna deal with certain situations or if you want say for example you want to take out you want to take out some of the boxiness you don't have to use the pro q2 you can use any eq any any eq that's got uh i think i forget what it's called parametric eq um you can use any eq you can use any dsr you can use an alternative for vox former you can use any compressor you know just whatever you're comfortable with whatever you're used to using so this transmod now this is just like a, uh, a transient designer. So you, all, all, that's, all this is doing is just tightening up the vocals again. This is with and without. But the grind and the struggle, man, it's real. I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills. I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the valley and tell them to give up all the bills. Man, I'm from here. Yeah, I'm from here. If you're Godzilla, then I'm King Kong here. I spit what I see on an everyday basis so my brothers know that these ain't just songs here. Top 10, top 5, who gives a damn? Because I'm still underground. But I'm I feel like it gives it more, uh, it tightens it, and it kind of like it makes it sound like it's spitting you can hear the t -p that yeah just more explosive i think you about the grind and the struggle man it's real i'm from a place where they shot o's and pop pills i'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up and then i've got butch fig vocals this this is nice i like this one i use this a lot on on drums as well just makes it sound so punchy but the grind and the struggle, man, it's real. I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills. I'm from a. So, all I've done on this one is just boosted almost 3 dBs of uh, sa is it saturation. I think it's saturation. Whatever it is, I like it and it works for me. So, yeah. So, you but the grind and the struggle, man, it's real. I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills. I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the valley and tell them to give up all the bills. Man, I'm from here. Yeah, I'm from here. If you're Godzilla, then I'm King Kong here. I spit what I see on an everyday basis. So, my. It feels like it. Just it. Like it. It adds, it adds high end and. But then it's probably just cutting the low end because that's the same sort of thing. You cut the low end and it seems like it appears that the high end has been boosted. I think that's what it's doing. I don't know. But I like how it sounds. So that's what I used on the all Vox bus. And because it's done that, I felt like it's getting a bit sibilant. So I've so I bought up a DSR for the last point in that chain. And I don't think it's doing much. But the grind and the struggle, man, it's real. I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills. I'm from a place where that, it, it looks like it's doing a lot, almost 4 dB. It's not that much, really, and it doesn't sound lispy. I think it just sounds controlled. The S is sound nice. I think if you didn't know that I used the DS, you wouldn't you wouldn't know that that's been DS in that way. No, actually, scrap that. It's DS nicely. I think the DS does its job on that one. But the grind and the struggle, man, it's real. I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills. And then what I've got here is the verse verb on the main bus. Because it's sounding a bit dry. So what I've done is just uh, put it on ascend on the main bus, the main Vox bus. And this is what it sounds like. I will exaggerate it and then pull it back so you can hear what it's doing. 
about the grind and the struggle, man, it's real. I'm from a place where they shot O's and pop pills. I'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the valley and tell them to give up all the bills. Man, I'm from here. Yeah, I'm from here. If you're Godzilla, then I'm King Kong here. I spit what I see on an everyday basis so my brothers know that these ain't just songs. Yeah, I want the, the reverb to just be there to just give him space between the music and his vocals and I think that works nicely uh, not too much um, when I take it out it's missed so for me that that's the way to do it also again I've used the compressor afterwards and that's been sidechained to the all bus because I think I used uh, that reverb for all the vocals no I didn't but that doesn't matter anyway and that's just compressing again so every time he's spitting and uh, the vocal sounding the vocals will swell after he's stopped spitting so the vocals ain't always just present just there with his vocals because for me that it doesn't seem natural so you about the grind and the struggle man is real i'm from a place where they shot o's and pop pills i'm from a place where they grab the pump and run up in the store with the so this is without all the processing i might have to stop it because there's a delay Tell you about the grind and the struggle, man, it's real I'm from a place where they shop Who gives a damn? Cause I'm still underground I'm still nice fam But I'm still in a place Where they let the swami bang So I'm down to drop an 8 like Jeremy Lamb Or drop 32.8 like Lebron I, I like that, I think it's it Sounds nice I think the vocals are sitting nicely I think if I rush through that just leave a comment on something that you're not too sure about or you want me to explain it a bit better. But yeah, that was my my approach for mixing Prof's vocals on that song. Um, I'm gonna do another video just showing how I mixed stabs, the background vocals and stuff like that. I don't think it's gonna be a long video on that one. It's just pretty much the same sort of thing and and just EQing, EQing certain parts different to, to the main vocal. So they, they blend and sit nicely together in the song. That's my approach for mixing that vocal, mixing pros vocal on that song. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got something from it. If you want me to mix your song, you're an artist and you want me to mix your song, hit me up, email me, contact me through my website. Uh, the link will be in the description box. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I appreciate all that. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time. Music is life. Check it. Peace. Yo. There's more to this life, there's gotta be more I'm taking every chance and I'm knocking every door They slam it in my face and I open up more There's more to this life, there's gotta be more